Last episode, our heroes killed, murdered, and buried cameraman John, but claimed he was on vacation. It's just me, no cameraman John. There might be a Morgan. He's supposed to be coming over at some point. The exciting saga continues right now. Hello! 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 Hey guys, we got a lot of really good feedback on the last video that I filmed all by myself. Now that I'm thoroughly depressed, we can take a look at another comment I might be able to help answer. At 154, if you were home alone, who zoomed in the camera? Hmm. I hope that answers your question, Simon. Let's go into the garage and uh, I'll show you what I've been working on. Okay, I was just thinking about it and Simon, why did you ask about eating the ice cream zoom? I, you should have asked about the flag on the roof because I was nowhere near the camera and you, I mean, what? What have, oh geez, what have I been working on? I had said to you guys that I was gonna start working on the laser and to be perfectly honest, I have not quite done that. But I have started something else. What I wanna make is a brushless servo motor. A bracket for a brushless servo motor. A bracket for the encoder that is attached to a brushless motor. So a brushless servo motor but we're making the bracket. Also, this turkey was in the fridge for like a week beyond its freeze or use bite date, so maybe I'll get food poisoning, I don't know. <laughs> Who wrote the script for this video? Um, oh, that's me. Also, check out this shirt my cousin Liam gave to me, and it's great because it's in fact a cat shirt, but kind of looks like something your grandma would have, I don't know, like a painting, but you zoom out, and if your grandma has a painting that looks like this, she's a thug. We need to attach the encoder to the rear of the brushless motor. The problem is that the entire outside spins. It's an outrunner. This is the faceplate, and this is what you want to mount something to. To keep the encoder from spinning relative to the motor, we have to like wrap something around between the two to hold this still. This internal part of the encoder spins, and that keeps track of the position of the motor, so we can use this for the laser instead of a stepper motor. Why? Because it's fancier. I don't really have a much better reason than that. But this is what I've come up with. We have a bent piece of metal wrapping around the motor. When unfolded, we have a piece we can send to the Shapoko to cut, and then we'll build a little jig to bend it. I've got a sheet of 01.0.1 inch thick aluminum. Screw it to the table and try cutting it out. I've had trouble cutting plywood. Check it out. We got ourselves a little vacuum cleaner fire. How could it possibly get better cutting aluminum? I've always wanted one of these. It's a roto deburring or roto something. It's a countersink on a deburring tool. Knock off all the gross edges. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I watched a bunch of Winston Moy. I think his channel is Winston Makes. He does a lot of Shapoko stuff and he's helped me out in the past. But I'm basically guessing feed and speed rates right now. If something does go horribly wrong, it will be glorious. So let's go ahead and uh, explode some drill bits right now. I only have one, so a drill bit, and I'm gonna be sad because I'm gonna have to go to the store. But I do have to go to the store anyways. Yeah, it's, it's not very forgiving. I was digging through Michael's stuff and I, I found two more eighth inch drill bits I can destroy. Well look at that, we got uh, little chunks of aluminum everywhere but uh, the holes are all drilled. We're gonna try to cut the outline, the whole part out.
I'm very happy because this is kind of my holy grail of being able to make metal parts. All right, we're at Lowe's. Gonna grab a piece of angle iron for the bendy jig. I'm gonna treat you to a very fancy dinner. No, no. We should definitely go to Arby's. No. Why not? No. I'm not gonna eat here. Did you purposely plan this? No. Is that why you came to this Lowe's? No. <laughs> you finished the whole thing. No, I didn't. Hey, did. Well, this might be kind of a weird way to end a video, but uh, the bending jig, I think, is going to be too much to try to cram into this. Also, Michael's back. Hey, Michael. You can't say. I think we're gonna end the pre-sale of the Breadcat shirt on. We'll put a date on the screen, like next Tuesday. So if you want to get a shirt, that's your last chance. Sorry, are you filming? Yeah, I am. We'll see you next time. Ah.